Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In the previous videos, we have seen how we can create a table, the default values of a table. So in this video, I will show you how we can create the identity columns. Identity columns values usually used to create sequence values and that we use for the key values that the primary keys. Identity columns automatically generate values using an implicit sequence which is ideal for primary keys. So now let's see the syntax of uh, creation for the identity columns. There are two syntax to create the identity columns. Either one we can use based upon our requirement and there is very slight difference between them. So the first syntax is to mention generated always as identity and the second one is generated by default as identity. So we'll see both of them with examples to understand them better and their properties. So let's start with creating example of always generated always. So I'm creating this table. The people with ID is big int name and address value. The table is created. Now let's insert some data into it. Okay. As of now, we have just created the table. There is no data. Now let's first insert our data. Okay. One record is inserted. We can test it. See one record is inserted now and the ID is assigned with one as we see the implicit cursor is working behind it to create the values automatically for the identity columns. Now let's insert another record. I have added one more record. Let's see the data. Okay, the identity column value that the ID value is now added as two. We have declared the table as generated always but if i provide here default so what will happen this will also allow the value to be inserted with the next value as 3 so the insertion is successful now let's check the data okay so we have the value 3 as well and the record is inserted now what will happen if we provide this value uh, which is not generating by default so this is the difference between when we create a table identity column generated always and by default so in case of generated always we cannot define any specific value which is not default or created automatically but in case of default by default when we create in that case it will allow us so now let's see if i insert this record it will throw an error see uh, error is given here so we are not able to insert because our table is created with generated always as identity so if we create the table generated by default as identity we will be able to create such record now let's see the other example let me first drop the table people the table is dropped now i will create the table again but this time i am providing generated by default as identity so let's see the table is created okay now we will insert the similar data now let's first insert the first record the data is inserted we have inserted one data into the people table now let's insert the second record this is also inserted we can check that okay we have the data here now what will happen if i provide a default so this will also allow us to insert the data okay so this worked now we can see the data see we have added one more record now this time we can insert this data or any value that uh, that is not mandatory that so let's try to insert another value which uh, we as a user will provide that is not generated by default so let's see what will happen when we insert this data the value is provided by user this should not give error because the table is created generated by default as identity so let's insert the data okay data is inserted so this is the basic difference between uh, two syntax generated by default and generated always now we can see the data okay so we have inserted the data one more thing i'll i'll show you in identity columns uh, either it can be always or it can be uh, by default there is no guarantee of uniqueness we can generate the data in sequence but there is no guarantee of uniqueness or primary key so to use that we need to declare the column as primary key as well or unique constraint we need to define for example we have already data with the id value 2 so if i again insert it it will allow me to insert okay so this is inserted 
okay if i see there is two record with the id column 2 so this was all about the identity columns so there are some additional properties as well the data type the data type of any identity columns that we defined here it can be any uh, data type that is supported by sequence it can be big int it can be integer it can be numeric and so on and the identity columns are by default not null so we don't need to specify the not null here this is in nature is not null we cannot insert the null value and uniqueness we already checked that uniqueness is not guaranteed in identity columns and also we saw the key differences between always and by default syntaxes okay if the video was helpful do like the video and subscribe my channel to get the notifications in the next video we'll discuss about the generated columns in postgresql tables so let's meet in the next video with the topic of generated columns in postgresql till then take care bye bye